Okay, welcome to the March 18th edition of the Chaos Common Metrics meeting. I will share my screen with the agenda just because that's probably easier for people. Um, okay, there we go. First thing on the agenda is a facilitator for the April 1st meeting because I am going to be off on holiday that whole week. You know me, I can always do it. Cool. Okay. Um, I think I missed the last meeting. Does somebody else want to go through the action items from, from the last meeting since I don't really have the context? Were there any action items? I don't know that there were. I think we were trying to just organize some of the metrics, if I recall. I think like there were to work on. Go ahead. Ken. There were. Uh, I think there were th three metrics that we were kind of moving forward. Uh, I think there were action items around those three metrics. Uh, however, the the last meeting we primarily worked on one of the metrics, and I forget which one it was. Was that naming a technical fork? Oh no, no, that that was all release stuff. That would have been okay. Oh, well, to... since no one since no one remembers if there are any action items, let's. I don't think there were. That's what I remember as none. Let's have a look at the open issues and PRs. No pull requests, so that's easy. Um, and then the issues, this, the release metrics one is just sort of an ongoing one. So it's probably nothing to talk about with that one. Um, event locations, Matt, is there anything we want to talk about on the event locations? I think no, I think on the agenda. It is. And so basically all I was doing was just tying an issue to what we were working on. Just keeping okay. those in sync. That's all. Um, and then I think we talked about this one before, standardizing the working groups repository structure. So I think I this will, is in all of the working groups. I'll fix that typo. <laughs> okay, and let's see, I don't see Daniel on the call and some of these are his, so we'll, I think that's pretty good. It's not bad, we have six issues. That's pretty, I think that's pretty good. Okay, progress on the current metrics. So let's just have a quick look at the metrics spreadsheet and see if there's anything that we need to do. Um, got several that are in the considering and in progress phases. Um, technical forks, is that still under community review or did that get released? That was released. That's what I thought. Burstiness was released as well. <laughs> Released and burstiness also released and review cycle duration within a change request. Perfect. I think those were the only ones we had, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Good. And so we have several in progress, and I think those are the ones that are several of those are on the agenda. I think collaboration platforms is the one that we were working on last meeting. Okay. Okay, that's at the top of at the top of the list. Um, any are there any other questions or things we need to talk about on the spreadsheet? Um, the only one was I was when I was looking at the spreadsheet ahead we had row 18 which was the where the company is located mm -hmm. do you remember this i just i read the note in in column c like i wonder if we even need to ever keep this in considering I, is there like a cool idea but not gonna happen option <laughs> that was all yeah 
Um, so, so the proposal was just to scrap that as a yeah. metric entirely. Yeah, just because we did talk about it and it was just impossible to figure out, I think. Yeah. Um, okay. So if nobody objects, I'm just going to delete this whole line. Deleting. Okay. Um, it's like if you fair warning, I like to delete stuff. Um, anything else on this spreadsheet? Okay. So, and well, yeah, one more thing. Um, you can see rows 23 and 24. Mm -hmm. So we had, that had obviously come from our discussion on technical forks. So just as two more that, that may come out just because forks and clones as being different things, yep. we might want to think about, um, we just might want to think about these two in the future. Yeah, for sure. That seems totally reasonable. Uh, line 34, there's one, I see 33 and 34 very similar. Uh, I don't know, is there any particular difference in them? Uh, 34 yes. is, 33 is released. Yes, yeah, so the, I think the difference between the two is the time, 33 is the amount of time within a change request to like okay. clock time. And then 34 is not with respect to clock time, but just the volume of cycles that are required. So if, okay. if uh, 33 is just the review time, wouldn't it be more accurate? Is it the same thing as time to close or time to merge? No, because you could have a, a review request that results in changes that somebody needs to make, and then the person makes the change. So, so we have had this. Dis it's the review step. time for each individual reviewer, or the review time for. This metric is super confusing because we keep having the same <laughs> similar conversations over and over and over because none of us can it because we can't remember exactly exactly what it was and it was maybe it was, is there any text in it maybe maybe we can open it real quick yeah. oh yeah we just released it oh and i probably asked this exact same question i'm sorry as a matter of fact <laughs> I, I know i did <laughs> uh sorry oh. nothing to me okay um so did we did we want to look at it no i'm i'm I was, I, I know I questioned this one prior uh, and uh, I know that the explanations that I was ultimately given uh, uh, addressed those issues, the issues that I had. So I, I don't need to look at it. I just, I don't remember what it was, but I can look at it on my own. Okay. Yeah, it is one of those that you really do have to, you do have to read it in detail to understand what it, what it is because it's, it's a relatively complex metric. Um, and, but but it is different than number number thirty four. Uh, then why we have crossed out la row thirty five and row thirty seven? Are these no more there or thirty seven just looks like kind of a weirdo <laughs> metric to be honest with you. <laughs> Uh, Thirty-seven That's exists. The, it exists That's elsewhere. So that time to close, time to merge exists elsewhere. Okay. And these are tied to issue thirteen. Two of them. Is that because the both of those were included in another metric? Okay, because we released time to first response and time to close, and this is kind of a, a set of that. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So should I just delete these two lines? I think so. Okay. Okay. 
honestly, time to merge is is definitely a filter for time to close. That was issue 86. Yeah, it looks like there's already a note there too, but. So what is, what is the status on this one? Because it looks like we are, we are working on it. Or is it? Maybe, maybe we look at the Google Doc. Oh, no, we're not actually. There, there you go. <laughs> so we're not actually working on it. Um, do, we, do we think that that is a filter on, on time to close? I, I suspect that it is. I, if we were if we were working with just uh, GitHub data, I would say definitely. So the the way GitHub works, I think I think that you could consider that a a, a filter pretty easily. Mm -hmm. Okay. Anybody object to my deleting it? No. Okay. Did we look at the time to close metric to see if the, uh, is it listed as a filter in there? Do we need to add that? Um, that's a good I'll question. Go take a, I'll go take a look. Okay. And I was gonna leave a comment on this, this one. You said you're looking right now to see if it is a filter? Yes, I will. Okay. So I'll go ahead and close that issue. It's not. It's not. Okay. And time to close, which. Oh, thanks. I can make that. I can make that PR since I, I brought that up. Okay. So will that go through a review cycle since it is a release metric? It will mm -hmm. probably have to go through the release cycle again. Makes I'll me make... also think, go ahead, Kevin. Oh, I was just gonna make a joke. So let's ignore that. <laughs> <laughs> I killed the momentum. Um, <laughs> maybe on all of the release too, what do you all think of me putting in the URL to the chaos.community site instead of the GitHub site? Or would you prefer the GitHub site? So in um, column D. Oh, um, no, I think the GitHub, the GitHub link is, is useful because uh, when we have things like this where we decide that another okay. metric is a subset, it makes it easier to get to it. Gotcha, GitHub. we'll do. That's my opinion. I don't know if anybody else has a different one. Well, that's good. I prefer GitHub. Okay. Okay. Okay, so I just added that as an um, action item. Okay, and then um, you said that last time we worked on space, was it collaboration platforms? Is that the one we wanted to take a look at again? Was that where we were last time? That is where we were last time. Okay. And who was driving this discussion? Uh, I did initially, however, it has kind of been given to the group at this point. Okay. So. Does, uh, does somebody want to drive, drive this discussion since I 
I'm reluctant to do it because I wasn't involved in the last discussion. So it might be better for one of you to drive this part of it. Maybe we could just spend five minutes to get our heads back into it. I can stop the recording and reconvene at whatever, 25 after the hour. Sounds good. Okay, yeah, there we go. So I wonder too about the connection to chat platform inclusivity. I think Which before you can, sorry, before you can start to look at the content, I think like the baseline is just capturing the actual activity itself, the number of, of transactions, the number of <clears throat> interactions. Um, I, that would be kind of my uh, feeling as to just as a base level, let's start here and then build from there. But I, I do understand Kevin's point of um, you know, we're trying to capture where the the development takes place and what channels. And so, you know, if um, if there's a lot of, like he said, a lot of messages in IRC, they're just like chit chat, whatever. Does that is that relevant to what we're trying to measure, or is that kind of extraneous stuff that we don't really care about in this metric? I actually think it's kind of interesting to compare across the different um, collaboration platforms. I mean, I, I agree that you can't compare IRC messages to email messages because it's, it's just kind of a different thing. You would always expect, if you have an active IRC community, you would expect that to be higher. But I think where we run into problems with metrics is where we try to do too many things in a single metric. And so I tend to think that this one should be maybe focused on, on basically the counting of stuff. And then maybe we need another metric, which is more about the, uh, the content or some of the other, other stuff that people were talking about. Which also ties back into social listening because that was a big piece of that was tagging that content and sorting it out as it comes through as, and putting it into buckets. So um, that metric would be probably one of those atomic metrics that we talked about in conjunction with that whole social listening piece of it. And activity actually, I think is in that piece as well. I think. What do you think? Sorry. I just wanted to cycle back to Kevin since Kevin was the one that had wow. some of the questions. Uh, so if, if we're just doing a count, we can't compare. It's when we when we look at the content, we can start comparing the collaboration platforms. So just a if we if we were to take this one and just turn it into a count of the collaboration platforms, uh, this metric becomes very simple, uh, which which is maybe preferable. Uh, I'm not sure I have a opinion on that. I don't. I don't know that it gets. I don't. I don't think it bother, The complexity of it doesn't bother me terribly, though. I think the the number of collaboration platforms and the content in this one. Uh, I don't think it bothers me because when we go down and we look at the implementation and the filters, these are kind of th these are things that we are capable of doing now. And there are things that Baturgy is actually looking at currently. So, I mean, we, this, uh, the, the visualization is, is basically what we've been describing in this, in this metric. So uh, this, yeah, it, this isn't the, just a count. I thought uh, the, the visualization looks like just a count. I don't believe it is. Uh, when Daniel showed it to us, uh, The way I read it is just, I mean, the yeah, title is actually, active you're right. organizations. Is, yeah, it is just a, it is just a count. You're right. Sorry. Maybe we, it's a, like a good idea to have simplified version as a number, like count, and then we can have a another metric which look at the content of the 
10 on my messages. And from a common working group perspective, I think we generally err on the side of simple metrics. And if I look at chat platform inclusivity, if we just did a count, this would be a metric that would work well with chat platform inclusivity. And to Elizabeth's point, if we just do count, this would be a metric that would work well with social listening. Okay. Well, that that doesn't that doesn't bother me. Simple simple doesn't bother me. So we could do um, we could um, build on this metric with a, a second metric that has some of the other stuff that you were talking about. So two, but as a separate one. Okay, so if we if we simplify this, what does it look like? So it'd be just. Uh, or does somebody want to take a shot at doing that offline? Because I feel like that's kind of a. No, there's not a. I don't think a whole lot would have to change in it. The, the question changes, so it's no longer what is the volume of message activity across digital collaborations. It's more a question of how many, how many digital digital collaboration platforms is a project using. Well, no, but it's the count uh, of things in each of the visual, each of the digital yeah. collaboration platforms. So I think it's still. Uh, oh, how many? Uh, across digital collaboration platforms. And also, as we mentioned, it does help support the burstiness metric as well. So then yeah, I would it's... support three metrics, burstiness, at least that we're thinking, burstiness, social listening, and chat platform inclusivity. I think the description can stay the same. I don't think anything in the objectives needs to change. What about this bit and the types of interactions? Is that still relevant? Or is it just understanding where the community is collaborating? Or, oh, understand where the community is collaborating and the types of, uh, uh, yeah, you can probably get rid of types of interactions. Oops, sorry, I thought I was suggesting. You all saw me delete that. It's fine. <laughs> Unit of data collection is the individual message on the platform. Implementation probably stays the same. No filters, filters, we get rid of number of people. Hmm. I have mixed feelings on that number of people. Can you put that back for just a minute? Or maybe. Sorry, I deleted it too. I should let me switch to suggesting. Um, I do think under unit of collection for threaded messages, do we care about the sequence of messages if we're just counting? I, think we, I don't think we do. Uh, however, uh, the visualization we do has it displayed by time, so. Yeah, but we still have so time stamp up yeah. here. I have a question about the title. 
because we love to rename titles. Yeah. Um, so to me, collaboration platform also includes things like GitHub, but I think yeah. those are all separate. To me, that's kind of a separate beast that we've already addressed. So I don't know if we want to change that or if we want to include GitHub or and GitLab uh, and all of those. Like, I don't know what yeah. you have. So GitHub yeah. comments are part of this or collaboration platform comments are part of this yes. metric. Yes, we have written it in the description, the code management technology. So I thought we had that somewhere else. Maybe I'm wrong. I'm going to go look. Even in the graph, we have this uh, GitHub issues, like the visualization has. I still actually think as a filter, number of people and number of organizations might be interesting filters on the counts. Or does that not make sense? It is a workable a filter. filter. Not... Sorry, yeah. go ahead, Fidel. It's a workable filter, but I feel uh, the title and the description, th that filter is not matching the title and the description, but it is a workable filter Like you can easily calculate once you have the data and visualize it. What is, who added orbit.love? Somehow it thinks I added it. <laughs> but, no, I did. But I did, but I did. I don't know. Okay. Does it do you this? Assigned very similar colors. What is orbit.love? What is it? It's like a community management platform. So, you know, as a community manager, you can kind of go in and um, attach your community to like your Slack and all of that stuff to Orbit. And then it will spit out reports for you to show you activity. And um, it, it's sort of similar to what we're trying to do, but it's a little bit more narrow is it's just specifically around activity for now, I believe. I gotcha. just joined it. I, we were talking about it on the Asia Pacific call uh, last week. Something okay. someone brought it up, so I looked into it and I got it. I got access, so I'm excited. I just wanted to poke around, but um, it's really cool. It's extremely interesting. Yeah, we looked when we looked at it in the Asia Pacific call. It was kind of interesting because they they look at things as as like orbits um, is like the conceptual model behind it, um, and it was actually I didn't I didn't get access to it or look into it in a lot of detail, but the just like a from a conceptual model standpoint, it was pretty interesting. Yeah, look. they center around um, like engagement is a, is a really big part of it and like bringing people closer to the center, you know, as they're out here floating around in space and then you come closer and the gravity of it. So like pulling people into your community is a big thing. So, so they are heavily into metrics around engagement. Sure. Okay. We are, we're reaching close to the end of our time. Do we feel like, do we feel like we've made enough progress on this one? Is there anything else we can do on this today? Elizabeth, did you say your title thing? 
Here's, yes, yeah. I was I was confused about what we meant by collaboration platform and if we were including all the comments on GitHub and GitLab and other places, and we are. So that was so this is still question. okay then? Sure. Okay. Um, so what are the next steps? Does somebody want to go through and kind of accept the the comments? We can do that. Just kind of clean it up for the next meeting. Okay. That sounds good. I'll add that as an action item. And I know I ask this every week. Do we end at a quarter till or ten till? We end whenever we're done, but ten till. <laughs> ten till. Okay. Um, well, yeah, we could always end earlier if we wanted to, but I don't want to. Um, so, so we also we do have these other two time waiting for submitter action and space event location. Um, are either of these ready ready for discussion? Does anybody want to talk about them in our remaining eight minutes? I think I'd have to spend a little bit of time like getting back into it. Okay. The comments all look pretty old from last year. Okay. So let's maybe just spend the next next couple of minutes. Um, well, I can't type April 1st. But I'll also move those up to the agenda for next time. Yeah, that's that what can... I was going to do. Is oh, like okay. Put them on the agenda. Um, so it's kind of, should I put them before the other two, the space? I was just going to collaboratively yeah. build it for next time. That'd be fine. So put like that. Is there anything else we want to talk about in the next meeting? Okay. No, I think this is good moving these forward. Yeah, we're making some good progress. This is this is great. Okay, well, last call for anything. Anything else you want to talk about this week? I don't even feel like I'm shutting the discussion down. Just so I can make you, another. Cup you of are tea not this meeting. <laughs> you can do that. Sounds like a good plan. All right. I, li okay. I like the event locations. I I wish we will soon be able to relieve that <laughs> for real. <laughs> so it's a it, it's a hopeful it's a hopeful metric. Yeah. I like it. I like it too. Yeah, we should relieve that when the COVID things get settled and people get back to normal. That should be the time to relieve that. Oh. Okay. All right. Well, that sounds good. Um, with that, we'll, we'll call it a day. And Matt, you're, you're on the hook for the April 1st edition. Got it. All right. Thanks, everybody. Have a good day. Thank you. See you later. Thank Bye. you. Bye. Bye.